Yeah. Okay. You okay, just trust me from what you're seeing. This. Mm -hmm. Okay. So now, let me just get this a little bit more accurate. I'm also going to show you how to swim a while we add it, fill it in. <clears throat> I'm just going to move it now. bother with this now I want to this shape how did I get that shape that shape I got by looking at that mm -hmm. so there's not really uh, this space here doesn't extend to there mm -hmm. okay like the paper I can't see the paper here okay but now what I've done is I this shape here I make this my negative space mm -hmm. so if I want to draw this shape here then I look at that being my negative space. Okay, mm -hmm. so let's say I want to draw now this shape. So here I've got, I've got this shape here. Now I want to draw this one there. So I've got, this is pretty easy. I've already done that piece against it. Now I go here. I can see the white paper, which makes it my way easier. There it goes, there it goes up. I can see that this has to be an angle slightly this way. You can even do the shadows like that. Must be a little bit more up. I'm still on the white paper. So now I'm actually going, I can see the finger there. Okay, so I'll do that piece there. That piece goes up. So now I'm only using the negative size of, of, of it against the paper. Né? You guys can see that. Mm -hmm. Can you see I keep my head quite still? And I'm not doing, I'm, I'm sort of, once I'm set, I'm sitting. So now I'm actually doing the nail. So the nail, in order to do that shape, I'm drawing this shape. Eh? Does it make mm -hmm. sense? Mm -hmm. Can you see? Yes. So now I want to draw that edge of the nail, so I'm actually going to draw this shape. The whole thing is you're actually drawing what you don't know. That's what you actually want to get to. Did that go actually a bit up? Now I'm against the paper again, so that's way easier. Okay, so now. I need to put this piece in. So I, if, if I keep drawing the fingers there, this is going to look odd because it's not going to be connected. So mm. now to, I to draw this piece here, which is here, mm. I'm going to look at that, that space. space. Okay, does that make sense? Yeah. Because I'm actually trying to draw this negative space. That, that becomes now my negative space. That This becomes my negative space here. Make sense, eh? Mm. Okay, I'm going to draw my rings and stuff and it's not necessary. Okay, let me just make sure that I connect this up the right place. Okay, this I've got. So then what's your positive space? The positive space is the thing that I'm not drawing. Okay. So I, I'm, this is the positive space. I want to draw that, but in order to draw it, I need to draw the negative space. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, I draw a shape that's not accurate. The moment I look at the positive space, I'm drawing a finger now. The moment I tell myself I'm drawing a finger, it's a mental thing mm -hmm. actually. Mm -hmm. If I'm telling myself I'm drawing mm -hmm. a finger, I'm going to draw, then I'm going to draw like, 
Okay, it might come out okay. Oh, flip, that's not okay. <laughs> but you know what I mean. Yeah. So I'm, I'm, I'm not trying to draw the finger. Actually, back to front drawing. Yeah, basically, basically, yes, you've got it. So now the shape is never going to be correct, but here mm -hmm. my shape is going to be correct. Where was I? Okay, so the okay, so now let's say I want to fill this in. Now we've learned about hatching, we've learned about cross hatching, we've learned about internal line, we've learned about tone. Remember, up and down hatching is in one direction, internal. So what I'll start off with, if I look at this, there's internal line. Oh, it's like a dirty there. So the first thing I do is, and and once I've drawn, it doesn't mean that this is 100% correct. As I'm filling it in, mm. I'm still going to change things. Mm. Okay. So now I'm starting with, okay, I'm going to start just with, shape. yeah, so I start with, I just want to get the internal line, so that's sort of going that direction. Now the internal line, the moment I put that in, can you see it gives me roundness, mm -hmm. can you see? Now that's actually slightly flattened this way. This, this here is like a flat area. Mm -hmm. So what I'm going to do is now I need to look at the texture. So what I've got here, it's, it's, it's a little bit of hatching here and there. Um, I can use tone or hatching or cross hatching. Cross -hatching so yeah, okay. but not everything will be the same. Mm -hmm. You see that? So every item will have its own. If I have to do this thing, that won't have. That will have a little bit of cross hatching, but more scribbling in because it's got um, mm -hmm. texture. Yeah, or stippling. Yeah. So if I look at this, that goes this way. So I start off by with my HB, and I'm actually toning now. So I'm not lifting my pencil up. Can you see? Okay, so I want to actually now put some of the shadow in there. Put the shadow in, it's quite sharp there. The shadow is quite sharp, and then it's quite so that I can put the shadow in. A shadow is not just dark, shadow has also got light and dark. This is a HBA, yeah. So the shadow is also toned, so I'm going like that. Now, can you see I'm not lifting it up? The shadow here is actually lighter, right there, there's a light patch there, than the piece around it. So that's lighter, and then that is darker. Now that tells me that this part of the skin that I've got there is just, if I almost imagine, what you can do is you can almost give yourself a gradient here. But you make you do a, a thing from one to ten, where ten is say your darkest, and one is your lightest. So you grade, you actually draw it out for yourself. So that's two, that's three. I'm doing it very ugly now. That's four, that's five. Now obviously, the, the, when you do this filling in, the the lighter the thing is, the more open it is, and the lighter you go. The darker it is the more closer together your strokes and the harder you pre you press okay so now if i number this i'll say okay that is now a number nine so that must go darker that shadow next to it yeah is a number two hmm, that legend is very helpful yeah you don't use all those from 0 to 10 eh, in one yeah, thing. Yeah, you, you probably will. You only normally do about 3 or 4. You, you probably will. You, you I probably, know, uh, I've already used yeah, about 3 think, already. Yeah. Think, so I'll probably end up losing, yeah. I'll end up using probably all of them. So there's probably a number 5. And this is, and I also can use the ribbon eh, to help me. So this is now, so now I'm toning again. And then there's a really light section there, so I'm not going to touch that. That's very light. Then around that section is, this is going this way. So now I'm using internal line and I'm hatching in the direction that I'm seeing it going. So I can actually see a little bit more of the nail there. And there's actually a dirt mark, but it's fine. We'll just use it as a... <laughs> yeah. Okay, so that is slightly darker. That's sort of more like a four or a five. 
So I'm still using internal line combined with hatching. Now I'm going to cross hatch because I want to get this darker. So this little dirt mark here is darker. Now I'm opening it up a little bit. There's actually another shadow. That nail actually needs to come down here. There's another shadow that the nail and the finger is forming. It's a lighter shadow than that shadow. So I need to get this shadow darker. The year I would actually now use a number 6B or something like that. So I want to get that shadow really, really dark. This shadow is actually lighter. And that darkness and this darkness are very close. If this is a 7 or an 8, then that one is going to be a 5 or a 6. 6B and a 3B. Okay, yeah. thanks. Ooh. And that overlaps this. Now I'm going to go a little bit over that. Look, look how much attention I'm giving one area. Can you guys see? Yeah, amazing. So the more attention I give it, and I can take away, now I'm toning again. I'm actually doing a slight scribbling action like that. Can you, if I enlarge it, I'm doing this. Yeah. Okay? Mm -hmm. Because there's a little bit of texture on the top of the hand here. And I'm not wiping with my finger. Mm -hmm. Can you no. see? Mm -hmm. Don't wipe with your finger. Rather use your rubber. So now here it's a darker mark there. Then that's actually lighter. There's a light piece here. So I can actually to make, get that light piece out. I'm going to put a little bit more. Because I want that light to stand out. Now here, there's also a shadow sitting there, and that shadow is about that same kind of depth. And here, there's actually light coming this way, and the shape actually does this. And then there's like a little indent here. This is actually going this way, and then a little bit up, and I can see a little bit of my texture of my skin. And that's actually internal line going this way. The shape is different. And then there's quite a dark area there. Now this area here is quite dark. Now I tone that again. So against this this piece here, this can actually go longer. I'm actually need to make this darker here because it's the darkness goes right behind you. So now I'm toning. Then it's lighter over there. Then this darkness dirt mark goes over here. Now I'm toning again. Can you see that it's small movements like that? Can you? I don't hardly do any big stuff. It's very small movements. Now there's a light piece sitting there, so that's dark there, but that dark is lighter, darker this way, and it's and this dark here is lighter than that, ugh, darker than that dark, so I need to add a little bit more dark, and it goes this way, so therefore it's the flat of the top of the, that's very flat on top of the finger there. I'm actually using more tone than when I'm using anything else. Can you see? Tone being? Left, right, left, right, without lifting it up. Okay. So, so one has to, you've got to remember all the different yeah. strokes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it's, I mean, it's the same in painting. Right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. But eventually it comes naturally. Yeah. So now, yeah, there's an indent there, so I want to give that indent a little bit more shadow. And I actually love doing this kind of stuff. For me, I love detail work. Even though I'm an impressionist. I was going to say, I need to paint so. <laughs> yeah, I love detail work. Yeah. I can spend hours doing this. Relaxing. I would, yeah, it's very relaxing. I do it with painting, but um, I 
I'm very no, bad with that drawing. That is frustrating when you want to do details. I don't know when you want to draw. I just draw quickly. <laughs> No, drawing so a portraiture. You must be enjoying doing portraiture. Mm. That's like, why I said you should try a yeah. portrait in pencil. If, you know, you before you well, paint painting it. you've done so well, but you should try. Yeah, it. Just hold it I draw I draw the portrait. You know the outlines and all that. The shading. The shading I do in uh, that Grisel. What Grisel? Grisel. With, with greys and whites. Mm. Then I use the tones like that. The mm. same. Yeah. Okay, look at that, that looks very three dimensional. Yeah. Mm -hmm. now, if I want to add now light to this, so let's say it was too dark, and I want to just add a little. Oh no, why is my positioning? I think it was like the. Let's say I want to add a bit of light, or I'd rather make it too dark mm -hmm. and then take, take a bit out. And then take away. Mm -hmm. And remember, you can also shade, like if this, like there, I've got reflected light sitting there. You guys know about reflected light there? Eh? Mm -hmm. Does everybody know about reflected light? Yeah. Okay. I just tell us again. I'll show you now. So there I can, I'd rather take that out. Look there. It gives me a very nice, ref reflected light works, works like this. If this is, if this is a ball and the light's coming from there. Yeah. So obviously this is going to be light. Yeah. That's going to be dark. Yeah. Your darkest area is going to sit here. And generally, so your shadow will sort of sit right under the ball this way. Your darkest, your, your, that's highlight, midtone, base tone. You normally have a reflected light here. That line of light that you see there is reflected light. If I look at this thing from your guy's side here, can yeah. you see there's a light piece here? Yeah. That's reflected light. I don't know what you see from that side. Okay. okay. Mm. So from your side here, can you see this shiny? Yeah. That's yeah. reflected light. So it's bouncing back from. It's bouncing back in the door. From but yeah. somewhere. So it doesn't matter. Um, okay, we don't have one light source here. So if we have one light source, it makes it much easier. Mm. But can you see how much? And I mean, the moment I would do ninety percent of the work with the HP, oh, nice. and then. I'd add, start adding my other colors, my other, my, my, uh, so I would actually use very little. So my HP is almost like my, my mid tones mm -hmm. because my light is my light. That's why a painting is 90% mid tones. Okay, yeah. yeah. So then I would start adding, if I want darker, I would start adding, okay, now this needs to go darker. And maybe, okay, I've moved the, and. But Leone, can I ask you something? Should there not be in a, from there, there's such a huge jump. Should there not be, a, you know, if you're looking at this, should there not be maybe another two tones and then your light? Because what I'm, what I'm seeing here is a very much reflected light. There is my reflected light. Okay. All the way down here is my reflected light. See? And then that your shadow. Your shadow is. Yeah, right. but that shadow is not as dark as this shadow. This shadow is yeah. way, way dark. Yeah, the one closest to the finger. Yeah. The finger. So and, this, then it, and then it fades out. Yeah. The so the tone. darks on here is much lighter than the darkest, than yeah. the darks on my shadow. Yeah. Okay, my positioning has changed slightly. So. Yeah. But I mean, the more I put darks in, the more the light, show. the more the light shows. And look out, can you see the finger looks round? Mm. Oh, that whole. The whole shape has changed now. This is very good, yeah. So th th basically, that's what I want you guys to do here. This is just much easier because it's a simple shape. Take one thing. Only one thing, yeah. So now remember to go back to those marks that we did: hatching, cross hatching, tones, split stippling. Because I mean, you can even I could even add a bit of stippling in here just to give a little bit of texture. So you can use all your your. Um, mark makings yeah. so they just like in a painting you actually use everything even if you l use less of the one and more of the it's other gonna be interesting. Yeah. Yeah. this is a, that's a follow -up. Whose book is this yeah.